Hello and welcome to Eco at Africa. Climate change, the United Nations has warned, is set to be one of the major challenges of our time and is the focus of this week's program. I'm Felicia Endersby and joining me, as always, is my charming colleague NT in Nigeria. Hi there, Felicia, and hello to you all from Lagos. I'm Neota Igbe. Indeed, climate change is a matter of grave concern here in Nigeria for a number of reasons. We'll have more on that later. But first, here's a look at what we have lined up on the show today. Tableware made from wheat bran in Poland. A solar suitcase that brings light into Kenyan classrooms. And one example of why Morocco ranks high in the Climate Change Performance Index. We begin today's show in Poland, which is currently hosting the UN Climate Summit. In that country, interest in and support for green issues is on the rise. And this is evident in the number of environmentally friendly startups, and they continue to grow. Amongst the many bright ideas, recyclable plates, bowls, and even cutlery made from wheat bran. Let's find out what that's all about. These sacks are full of wheat bran. Yershi Vizotsky's family have been running grain mills in Zambruf, northeast of Warsaw, for generations. He used to think bran was a nuisance. When you grind up wheat, around 30% of what you get is actually bran. In terms of volume, it takes up more space than the flour. That's a big problem for mills. Sometimes you even have to stop production because you have nowhere to put it all. Some people eat bran, but here they have a more inventive use, turning it into biodegradable disposable plates instead of using plastic. Yershi Vizotsky, a trained engineer, began doing his own research and development. He needed a lot of patience to work out the right mixture of humidity, pressure and temperature. It took me six or seven years to get the first plate right and file a patent for it. It then took a further two years until we had enough money to set up the machinery. The result was a production line like no other in the whole world. Five years later, one tonne of bran makes about 10,000 plates and bowls. I did the engineering side. I didn't build the machines myself, but I did design them, right down to the last detail. That was my idea. The company founder moved operations to the Polish capital, Warsaw, to make the most of marketing sales and customer contacts. An old friend there helped out, providing advice and organizing grants from the EU. Eventually, that same friend, Margot Yata, then joined the company as managing director. She's helped to expand operations. Yeah, we have great marketing, partially and mainly thanks to our followers on social media because the product is so nice, so, so pleasurable to the people that people would love to share our videos. The organic plates are not only used in this Warsaw cafe, they're sold all over the world. And major customers also contribute their own ideas, such as bowls that can be filled for four hours without leaking. This one here doesn't make the grade. It depends on the thickness of the soup. Here is quite thick, so it will be like uh, 30 to 40 minutes. When it's really thin, it will be like 10 to 15. So you have to eat very fast. <laughs> Yershi Vizotsky is dealing with the problem in his research laboratory in Sambruf. He constantly develops new products at the request of his customers, such as these schnapps cups. They were made for a festival. After use, they biodegrade within three weeks. It's the same with the plates. The factory also makes disposable cutlery. Bran is mixed with a lactic acid-based plastic to make the forks stable, a compromise that customers can live with. This year, the startup has had delivery problems for the first time in its history. 
Demand is so great that the 30-strong workforce can barely keep up, even with the eight machines running around the clock. Disposable items such as plates or cutlery that are biodegradable, that's the future. The inventor from Zambruff is one of the winners in the emerging green economy. A new production line is already on the way. It's set to start running in February.